From folk music to bluegrass to some good old blues, guitars make it all possible. And good custom guitar makers aren't easy to come by. In this week's Finding Minnesota, we meet a Minneapolis man who made a career change that paid off. John Lauritsen shows us how he's making sure musicians around the world are staying in tune. It can be uh, quiet and intimate, or it can be loud and aggressive. So it really has a place in just about any kind of musical genre. Music struck a chord with Tim Reedy at an early age. But growing up in the 60s and 70s, it wasn't the drums or the singing or the lyrics that caught his ear. It was the guitar. It speaks to the human condition without words. Uh, so I, I was attracted to it immediately. And 14 years ago, Tim decided to make a career change. He was a cabinet maker, but it turns out that was just his opening act. Playing in a band, he became interested in acoustic guitars. So he went back to school for a different kind of woodworking. And building uh, your first guitar, there's absolute joy that comes into uh, when you get it strung up and you play it for the first time. It's it's uh, an unbelievable feeling that I actually you know built this thing. 90 guitars later, his instruments are being used by musicians around the world. The idea behind it is kind of like a piano where the bass strings are longer and the treble strings are shorter and then that just opens up a lot of uh, new ideas for songwriting for me. Sam Breckenridge is a musician who has bought into Tim's customized craft. I'm in love with the instrument. Um, I'll have it forever and uh, if I ever get another guitar, I'll get it from him. For Tim, it starts with finding the sweet spot. Yeah, and you can tell what's going to be good for um, a tone wood um, by tapping on it. He has to buy a lot of it on eBay. Most of his guitar wood comes from South America and Africa. This is about 70 bucks just for this piece of wood. $70 for that little piece of wood. It's really hard to find a piece like this. The lumber yards here don't make this kind of thing. No, they don't. Then he gets to work. There are hundreds of steps. And it takes about four months to make one guitar. Tim has to keep in rhythm with sandpaper before he can keep in rhythm with strings. You want it to sound great, but you always want it to look really beautiful and uh, be really easy to play. He's made guitars with traditional looks, but others with a style of their own, like this propane tank guitar. We actually use the uh, valve and the shroud off of a propane tank and put it, and you plug that cord right into the valve. When he finishes, like a proud parent, Tim gives each guitar a name. This one is the Labrata. This model is the Labrata. This one's called the Midnight Blue. This is my 75th guitar. This one's called the Opus 75. It's tough to let them go sometimes, too. Yeah. You become attached. A little bit, yeah. Put a lot of sweat into it, yeah. But he takes pride in knowing that artists near and far are looking to him for inspiration. So it's challenging, but you know, from great challenges come great rewards. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Tim's guitars range in price, but on average, they cost about $4,000. For more information on how he makes guitars and what musicians he's making them for, we do have more information on our website. Just go to WCCO.com and click on links.